right, we're back. I'm going with David. Listen, we don't know that David did anything, and nobody has any proof against him. As far as we know, it's Nathan Prescott who's the real threat so far. I would cut David slack here. Oh, would you? How generous, King Max. So suddenly it doesn't matter how shady David has been acting, or that he keeps all those weird files on your classmates, or how you're always going off on how creepy David Enough. is. Enough! I don't want anybody being accused of anything. There's been too much of that crap going on around here lately, and I don't want it in my home today. Well, I agree with that. Now, if you all don't mind, I'd like to forget about work and sit down and eat some of this incredible grub. I have to take a dump. Are you coming, Max? She's so classy. Maybe I went too easy on David for Joyce's sake. Uh, I think he's just uh, doing the best he can. Thanks again for defending me, Max. But this is my family now. Okay. All right. I thought you were going to go take a dump. What's up? What's up? Thanks for letting me down again, Max. Come on. Why can't you just rewind so I don't have to see you defending that asshole? Well, let's go to school. Listen, when I went through David's laptop, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than friends. <laughs> right, no way, Max. She was just posing to tease Frank. If you're not going to believe me, why don't we check out what Frank has in his RV? What's that going to prove? Frank has Rachel's bracelet. What else does he have in there? Motherfucker better not have anything, for his sake. What is he eating? Let's check the door. I'm seeing Frank a lot of so birds wasted, swarms. He sometimes forgets to lock it. What is that? Giant pancake or something? I can't believe you hung out with him. Not anymore. We have to be casual ninjas here. Shipples. Okay, here's the plan. I'll go to the diner and distract Frank by telling him I have his money, but he needs to come with me. Then you come in and rewind so Frank doesn't see me. Then you can tell Frank he needs to check out his RV, and then you rewind after you get the key, and, uh, and... Chloe, I got this. I'll be right back. Don't let my epic plan get in the way of yours. I'll try to scrounge up a Scooby even... snack to distract his mangy mutt. I understand what your plan is. Now to find a quick and easy way to snag Frank's keys. Do do. Uh -huh. Hey, there's the crazy dude. Dad says. How about sending you to Blackwell's the best thing. And if you want to come back home and relax, maybe to go to high school around here and the door's wide open. Okay. Kate says. Thanks. See those bird swarms? That's weird. I wonder if that means something. Hello. How do you do? Okay. Um, let's work on these keys. Should I talk to the weird guy again? Good morning. How are the fish today? Don't ask. First the snow, then an eclipse. What's next? The tornado? Pretty much. You don't think it could be like climate change or something? Climate sure has changed around here. Just saw that Prescott brat having a fit by himself in the parking lot. Hmm. Isn't he always having a fit? He ain't the only one. You knew what was going on with the fish around Arcadia Bay. Sorry, I'm too pissed to talk about it. See you around, kid. Is that the same cop who was here last time? Bacon. I'm ready to nosh again. Oh, but I need to get those keys from Frank. Go ape. That will be fun to take a road trip to the drive-in with Warren. Max needs more fun. 
Oh, it's Conquest of the Planet of the Apes? It's not even a good one. Okay. Oh, great. Dickheads here. Hey, Frank. That doesn't explain everything, of course. Frankly, we don't know yet. You show up after almost shooting me? You have serious balls, little girl. But hanging out with Chloe, playing with guns, and dressing like Rachel doesn't make you cool or tough. The fuck do you want? How do you know these are Rachel's clothes? Because she looks beautiful in them, and you look like ass. Hmm. Aiming a gun doesn't make you any sexier. Grab your keys and let's check out your RV. Let's not. You fucking creep me out. In other words, Max, no keys. Maybe I could chat up that officer, or even Nathan, and then go all Groundhog Day on them until I get the info I need. Okay. There she is, Super Maxine. That's your new nickname around the bay. Sorry, but you did earn it. We're all real proud of you for helping Kate down. Thanks, Officer Barry. I was just lucky. And right on time. Kate is who counts. I'm glad you're representing Blackwell Academy. I guess Kate Marsh will be the face of Blackwell for a while. And you for helping her. That's the kind of school spirit we need more of. Do you think Arcadia Bay is a weird town? I'd take a normal city with normal problems about now. It makes me sick thinking about it. Hmm. I thought Nathan Prescott represents Blackwell. Well, you don't make me backwash this bacon. You know what the Prescotts represent. Taking over Arcadia Bay? You're not far wrong, Max. I heard the Prescotts are working on some new big land deals. Mr. Prescott helped out my family once a while ago. So I made a deal with him that I can't seem to get out of. Man, if I could get one instant replay in life. I better finish my breakfast first. Rachel! Uh, whatever the fuck. Uh... Oh, look. Max Amber. Nice outfit. <laughs> By the way, thanks for getting me fucking expelled, you twee bitch. You're lucky this is a public place. Considering we're in a public diner with a police officer right over there, you shouldn't advertise your rage, Prescott. Oh, yeah? You shouldn't have bitch snitched on me to that fucked up principal. Your sugar daddy will always protect you. And threaten me. You don't know shit about my father or me. Nobody here does. Then tell me what I should know. Why? So you can pretend to care, hmm? Spoiler alert, he's an asshole. Maybe I could help you. I don't need you for anything except to stay out of my fucking business, understand? Now get out of my face. He's so delightful. Do, do, do. Oh, it's raining outside. I don't know what to do. I just wanted to see what would happen if I did this. I'm gonna kill you. What if I spill your you food? You eat like a pig. Try the floor. I was eating those beans. Are you fucking insane? I was eating those beans! <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, I don't know. Holy 
Holy shit, what do you want now? I bet Frank hooked you and Rachel Amber up with party supplies. Nice try. Rachel partied like a fiend on her own. More than me. I doubt that. Like you would know, virgin. Even that pig over there knows Rachel hung out more with Frank. I mean, don't talk to the cop about that, dumbass. Try interrogating somebody else, Lieutenant Caulfield. We'll chat later, Max. I shouldn't have said that. I need to rewind. There she is, Super Maxine. Come. Thanks, Officer Barry. I was just lucky. And I'm glad you're representing Black. Okay. We want to talk to him about. Nathan said that Rachel Amber represents Blackwell, with Frank Bowers. Bowers ain't no student anymore. Sadly, he does represent one side of Arcadia Bay. I want you to stay out of his orbit, okay? Him and that rabid mutt. I heard something about Frank Bowers and his puppy. My boy does love his dog. Especially when the dog is your personal drooling bodyguard. You can bet he trained that poor thing on blood. Gross. I wouldn't bet. Where did he get the pup? Frank used to bet on dog fights. Now, to his credit, he had a revelation. He saved a bunch of the dogs, kept one for himself. He's still a creep. You and that Chloe stay away, right? What the fuck now? You act so scary, but... You did save all those dogs. One, I'm not acting. Two, who told you about the dogs? It's actually a great story. You're an animal lover. Could I pet the doggy? I could go grab him from your RV right now. <laughs> I won't even let you pick up the dog shit. Besides, you don't want a leash. You want these keys right here. Look at your eyes dilate. You're worse than a junkie, Max. But no fix for you. Hmm. <coughs> well, I can grab the keys and then, uh... Rewind time. I'm afraid I'll have to take your keys now, asshole. You did not just do that. Yeah, I did. Give me back my keys, bitch. Give me my keys now. Key brought. Now back to Chloe. <laughs> you just got hit by a bottle of water. All right. Um, we're going to pause this episode and then we'll come back. Hopefully uh, get to the end of this one because I'm kind of burnt out on this today. But we'll see how it goes. And uh, we'll be right back.